Hey, if you've got a Subway Power pre-built case like this from the manufacturer, um, you may be experiencing a few um, airflow and overheating issues. So I'm just quickly uploading this video uh, to kind of share my experience uh, on some things and tweaking I did to the case and potentially improving the airflow and uh, getting my temperatures about 10 to 15 Celsius lower. So I went from probably average GPU of like 80 to 85 down to 69 to 75. Um, so um, I hope it's a neat trick. Um, and you find it helpful. So with this case, I feel like the biggest uh, problem is uh, probably an ill-designed um, neon light that kind of is um, placed like this inside of the panel, uh, which prevents the airflow from going in um, on the bottom and the sides and things like that. So really quickly, I'm gonna show you how to get rid of that panel. Um, and you can always actually um, unplug it uh, as long as you do it safely um, and smart. Uh, make sure that you uh, kind of save it, don't break it. Um, you are able to reuse it in case you want it later on. Um, so make sure the first and firm foremost, your uh, case is unplugged from the power supply, right? Safety first. Then what you want to do is undo these screws over here, um, which are pretty loose, um, which are going to be fixating the part. Now, because I've already un undone this part over here, um, keep in mind that this part here is going to uh, stick and make this panel kind of uh, uh, adhere uh, to the um, side of the orange case over here. So it's going to be a little bit harder for you for the first time to unplug it. Um, so there's going to be like little blocks um, that are kind of like um, not silicone, but kind of like uh, little plastic blocks over here that you're going to have to probably either fish out or push out um, to make sure they're not there anymore. Um, then you're going to essentially uh, make sure that you open the side of the case because remember this part right here is going to be actually plugged in into your RGB lighting. So you undo the case by um, doing it right here and mine is probably pretty messy uh, but that's like the purpose of the back panel, right? Um, it allows you to make things look pretty on the inside, but it's like super ugly on the outside. So what you're gonna see basically is that this wire will basically run from here through one of those um, openings over there and is going to be connected to one of these harnesses over here. So you have to probably make sure that you go through these zip ties, make sure you, through, you go through the harnesses and actually disconnect the correct wire. So what I actually found very useful is when you see this wire kind of sticking out from here, you can actually pull and wiggle a little bit on the on the um, on the cord to make sure you're actually uh, producing the the correct one. Alternatively, when you're whenever you're going to be taking off this panel over here, um, you're going to actually see as you're trying to wiggle it out, you're going to see one of these cords moving, uh, and then it's just a, a process of kind of elimination. So what you do is very gently take this out and you're gonna kind of try to wiggle it out because this this thing is uh, um, affixed here, here, which are bolts, but then there's this kind of panel over here kind of slides in. So what you have to do is actually slide it this way. So what, you're, what I'm doing right now, you see, I'm actually sliding it kind of outside and then out. And that really kind of opens up um, the space for your for your three fans over here. Now, the thing is, you can still put back this panel over here without this thing being here, and about 90% of your airflow is gonna be open, or you can leave the case like this. I think it still looks pretty cool. Um, I would probably recommend just putting the panel on. But anyways, when I take off the panel, remember, because I already um, took it apart, my panel from the inside is gonna look like this, essentially, right? So first and foremost, remember to unplug this before you remove the whole panel. Otherwise, you're going to rip it out of there. So you don't want to do that, right? That's an expensive computer, an expensive case. And then this, this thing is going to be um, affixed by kind of like little silicone sticky things. I don't know if you can get a feel for it, but um, they're essentially, they're, they're not screwed in or anything like that. Um, they're just kind of cheaply made uh, silicone rubber glue, glue-like substances. So let me just show you the point that I'm trying to make. So if you put this back on like this, right? And then you put this panel inside, inside back, this thing here and here is gonna pretty much block off all the airflow there. So what you do is basically uh, fiddle around with it a little bit. You take that off. I'm probably making it sound and look way simpler than it was. I had to like struggle with it a little bit. 
But then once you have the case here, um, you just go ahead and plug this in here. Make sure your things are aligning here, here. And then you probably want to, sorry, I'm doing this with one hand recording. I'm really bad at this. Um, this is my first YouTube video here. So what you want to do is just kind of affix one of the screws over here. So it at least uh, gets to a position. Uh, and then you pretty much have your uh, airflow restored. Um, and I feel like this is a really cool way to fix a really simple issue. What I've also done is add a couple of fans over here uh, for 2000 something dollars um, that this computer sold for from Costco.com. I feel like cyber power could have uh, been uh, less cheap and probably just include more fans on the top, but um, they're like 25, 30 bucks for RGB on Amazon. And you can actually, um, what you see here is actually put it in this case is actually really good for hiding the wires and everything. And I just harnessed it all together with the zip ties. Uh, and then there's gonna be like these little things over here that again, they kind of look crappy, um, but essentially that's like your RGB lighting. Um, they're kind of like these three prongs things. So all you do is when you remove this thing, you basically get a lot of airflow back um, and um, a little bit less of an RGB light. But I feel like um, the function of the computer improves significantly. Um, and you really lose out maybe on five to 10% of the appeal of the case because the case is still beautiful. looks great. Um, all right. Hopefully this video helped you. Good luck. And uh, let me know if you have any questions.